MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell added telephone lines to his Frank Speech TV studio in preparation for a top-secret interview he'll be having soon with failed President Donald Trump. Yes, Tom Selleck's slow cousin, the man that thinks Roco is a device and that the election was stole, is going to go one-on-none -on -one with the man that wanted to nuke a hurricane and look directly at the solar eclipse three times. Of course I got all the packet captures and the thing of the whole election. I didn't just make it up. I didn't even know what they were. I didn't even know what a, a cyber guy was before all this. I had better things to do. I like doing things. Lindell ruins more words than an English menu in Chinatown, battles technology, talks about jail, election fraud, complains about Canada, and continues his mental Australia rants. My friends that are over in Australia, um, what's going on over there is their, their only hope is us. You hear that, Australia? Your only hope is American Borat. Good luck. Also, I have the latest and stupid from Marjorie Taylor Greene, Lauren Boebert, Aaron Rodgers, QAnon's JFK Jr. debacle, Dr. Bowtie, and more topical comedy. Marjorie Tojam Gross has now racked up over $48,000 in fines for not wearing a mask in the Senate because she knows more about the human body than anyone. Just look at her pull-ups. I've seen better form on a drunk monkey with one arm. What, you've never been to the Philippines? Interesting place. There's no better way to relate to the American people than voluntarily throwing away $48,000 to own the libs. That's 2,666 cases of beer. 271 Ted Cruz flights from Houston to Cancun. But you know what $48,000 could really buy you? Foot surgery to fix that disgusting thing you got going down there, Marjorie. <laughs> Uh, but we do have good news, right, Brandon? We've got our call in tonight. You guys, yep. our phones are hooked up. Yep. Uh, they, uh, Logan worked hard on getting these phones hooked up, everybody. Four so days. we're going to test them tonight. You don't test things when you're filming. You'd think a pillow guy would know what a soft launch is. You guys, I mean, you're hearing it here first. I'm going to be doing a, an interview with our great real president, Donald Trump. Yeah, That's everybody, it. I want. I'm going to. It's going to be an awesome interview. Of, of our great real president, Donald Trump. And I'm going to be interviewing him, and I'm asking all of you out there, what would you want to ask him? Questions like this are far too convoluted for Mike's audience, and he's already having trouble. But there, yeah, there and I want to make this I want to make this clear, everybody. This is a call-in line. When you call, you know, other time, you're not going to be able to call in other times. This is for the show only. It's going to be shut off. You're not going to be able to get a recording, and you're not going to be able to talk at any other times other than this show. Right. This is not for. This is not a customer service section. I love how he kicks things off by getting mad at his few viewers. I went to I went to jail one time in Las Vegas, and they tried to make me take a shot when I came in the door. I didn't even know what it was for, and I went take it, and I got put in solitary for a day before they before I could even uh, um, know what I was charged with, and you know it was just nonsensical stuff like that. That you know, how are you telling me do I don't want to put in my body? But they, uh, in, you know, so. In this is so Lindell, high out of his mind on crack, in jail in Vegas, doesn't know why he's there because he can't remember which crime he committed this time, and freaking out about them, probably giving him a B12 shot or something. I mean, it could have been a flu shot. I don't know. But still, you're, you're putting crack in your body. Um, so my question is also related to the vaccine. I mean, it is, in my opinion, that the vaccine that he wanted to present to the people was more like a flu vaccine. Science isn't opinion-based. It's not like religion where you can pick and choose. You can have your own beliefs, but you can't have your own facts. I've never took a flu shot in my life, but they, they've offered, right? Of the yearly flu shot, you know? My family got our flu shots yesterday. I get it every year. Donald Trump Jr. tweeted, Tucker is a patriot and a warrior. He had emergency back surgery in the morning and went back to work at his number one rated show just a few hours later. Okay? <laughs> Naturally, I pointed out to Don Jr. on Twitter that this is a trust fund baby circle jerk. And the other thing is, the article that Don Jr. shared about Tucker even indicates that it was a planned surgery. You can't make this up.
All right. Good job, Neil. Neil. All right. All right. I think Dale's gone. Let's go to the next okay, caller. Yeah, can you caller. make sure who's screening them, Brandon, that yep. they have their question yeah. ready? I did my best to call into the show, but they only had one line and it wasn't really working. I had a question ready to get past their call screener, and then I was going to fire off a few questions to Mike Lindell for Donald Trump. Are you ready to own your incontinence and release a MAGA-themed adult diaper? It's time you made taking dumps in your pants great again. Uh, would you consider um, asking uh, President Trump if you would consider inviting a group of health professionals that are against the vaccine and, and interview them uh, as a group? Would he at least invite these people in like he used to do when he used to be in the White House? Just buy, invite them to Mar-a-Lago or whatever. My American people, I think I'm going to have all the uh, Facebook Karens at Mar-a-Lago for a summit there's going to be omelets, there's going to be hamburgers, there's going to be kofifi. We'll talk about all the science stuff, and uh, maybe it'll grab a few by the... I would like to ask the president why he continues to support the jab. You know, yeah, he supported it, and I think he, he doesn't support a second shot. There's all kinds of stuff that he said out there. Trump got both doses and a booster. Cake makeup Lauren Boebert has come out against extended maternity leave with the insane argument, I gave birth in a truck. In a new interview, Lauren Boebert said, I delivered one of my children in the front seat of my truck because as a mom of four, we got things to do. Ain't nobody got time for a two and a half months of maternity leave. We have a world to save here. Lauren Boebert's so dumb she thinks you have to deliver the baby where it was made. <gasps> my water broke! Jason, get the F-150! We need to go park it next to the dumpster behind the bowling alley so we can have this baby. When you're back in the White House, who will be the first lady? Ivanka or Don Jr.? I have the same question about the vaccine and Trump. Did she just say Trump? The vaccine and Trump. The vaccine and Trump. And why? You guys, we keep the questions to what I just said, please. We, we can, we're can we going to have all the time in the world to do other call-ins on other shows and stuff, but we want you all calling into what's relevant to that show. Would you be willing to demonstrate your fitness by doing one hole, one hole of golf without a cart? One hole. Mike has repeatedly made this claim that he's working with the smartest people in the world, but he just thinks he is. You don't need to be a genius to wow Mike Lindell. You just need to know the alphabet. Um, I, I, the background, you guys are just going to have to trust me. He's got <laughs> up for, what you up for a Nobel, a Nobel Prize back in the yeah, day? No, they, I yeah. just want to tell everyone how you're dealing with one of the smartest men this country has. Dr. Bowtie was a big part of the cyber symposium. He also has a pants on fire rating from PolitiFact. Phys what, you're, you're a physicist teaching, the, teaching in a college, right? Physics and math. I, I, I left academics in 1986, but I teach at a, I mean, 96, but I teach at a school for really bright kids. He teaches kids, really bright kids, but still kids. He went from college to kids. Um, don't let Matt Gates around these students. For really bright kids, where the median IQ is 146. Wow. Okay, wow, wow, the medium IQ. So that 146, now everybody... It's not just that he says medium IQ, it's that he's he needs to write it down. Look at that again. Wow, wow, the medium IQ. So that 146, now everybody... Here's a clip of mine I had a bit of fun with from the Cyber Symposium featuring Dr. Bowtie. Audit. And, the, and the one thing I would like to mention uh, to anybody who is doing the audit... Um, I'd like you to consider if we do have intrusion into the voting systems that are able to control <coughs> yeah, yeah, all wow. the states' presidential elections here, here. to that kind of a control curve, why would I leave any other race on the table? Make sure you pay attention to all of them. Let's see what the lady thinks. So the question is, is so were these calculations being made in China on election night? I've been looking at the result data. I have no way to know where they were being made. Now Mike tries to convince a blonde in a car that Australia is the end of the world. Without having martial law, my friends call me from there. One of them's on my board. If you go into a place, you have scanners like Mark of the Beast. You scan, and they know where you're at at every given moment. 
and they send you out little warning things on your phone. You were in a place where somebody was diagnosed as the China virus. So you need to go quarantine for 14 days. And if you leave your house, you got a drone that comes down and says, go back into your house. You have, you, you have exceeded the 100 kilometers or whatever it is. That's a pretty broad quarantine. But to be fair, this is the guy that thinks C is a number. It's This is disgusting. This is... This is Terminator, the movie, the second Terminator against the machines, everybody. Terminator 2, Judgment Day. It wasn't Terminator 2 against the machines. And all Terminator movies are against the machines. I, I have people that are trapped in Australia right now. Australians, if you find any of these people that Mike Lindell knows that are trapped, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, Mike, there is, what I'd like you to ask President Trump is about Fauci. And I met Fauci, and it was terrible. He told me a lie straight up, and uh, and um, <laughs> actually two you, lies, and then he walked away. You, is there any way you could get rid of Fauci? MAGA's goal is to eliminate smart people. By popular demand, I now have some mugs with my YouTube channel, MAGA Tears in classic bottle, ABD, and stole design. So check those out if you want to support the show. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> You know, I hope the, I, mean, I don't know, any chance the military might take over if uh, the Supreme Court doesn't come through? That's how mental these people are. You know, I'm getting calls from all over the world. Uh, Israel, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, the Philippines. I get calls all the time going, you guys, you know, you need to, you guys can never give up. Liddell got five calls from trailer parks this evening, yet he's trying to make himself sound like some sort of international savant. The clueless Q crowd gathered in Dallas because they believed John F. Kennedy Jr. was going to show up on the grassy knoll to announce that not only is he alive, but he's running in 2024 alongside Donald Trump. Bucket of unicorn wank. JFK Jr. did not show up because he died in a plane crash in the Atlantic in 1999. But a lot of QAnon believes that this guy, Vincent Fusca, a Pittsburgh salesman, is JFK Jr., even though he's far shorter and his looks aren't enough to rope in Daryl Hannah. Having said that, Daryl's married to Neil Young, so never mind. Also, don't come at me. Neil Young is awesome. I know there's a lot of believers around the world, but like if Al-Qaeda has QAnon, will they be going to the site of the Twin Towers waiting for one of their dead pilots to show up? and announce they're going to be a judge on Afghanistan's Got Talent next to Osama bin Laden? It's just as ridiculous. Will you continue to treat minorities with respect? And by minorities, I mean the 1%. Green Bay Packers quarterback Aaron Rodgers lied about being vaccinated, then got COVID, and now he's missing games and letting his team and his fans down because he was too stupid and too selfish to get vaccinated. Measles, mumps, rubella, hepatitis, tetanus, polio, no problem. COVID? Wait, it's a trick. I think I need to think about this one. I think I'm gonna lie. Aaron Rodgers recently went as John Wick for Halloween, a character portrayed by a double vaccinated mixed race actor born in Lebanon and raised in Canada. Everything's going to be okay, though, because Aaron Rodgers is not seeing a doctor. He is consulting with naturally unfunny Joe Rogan, and he's taking ivermectin, you know, the horse thing, mainly for parasites, not viruses. Athletes are not smart. Every year, I go, into, I go to Canada on a, on a fishing trip with my kids and my nephews and stuff, and, they, and I can't do that because uh, Trudeau put a thing. You can't get across that border anymore unless you took this the, this vaccine mega tears you're the exact reason this policy exists to keep people like you out that refuse to get vaccinated stay away fish in minnesota mike lindell will melt faces november 26 supreme court and yes melbourne australia is a dictatorship Mega tears. This bald dem and his wathers are nothing but brandless freaks. Mega tears. Stop it, baldy lib. Donald Trump will be back soon. Mega tears. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check me out on Spotify. I've played in 35 countries. I've done several theater and arena tours with Jim Jeffries. I have three albums there. You can stream them for free. That's a pretty sweet deal.
Also, you can support the show by checking out my merchandise. You can grab an ABD, a Stoled, or a Channel mug. They go fantastic with those MAGA tears. If you want to have a friend roasted or congratulated, I do personal videos on Cameo. Thanks again for watching. Life's short. Have fun. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.